welcomed to the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines for a much anticipated main event. 12 rounds, Bantamweight action. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Just the opening round of 12 scheduled for tonight's bout. He took a go of it to the body but came up empty. Hugging on the inside. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. A clean, crisp right hand by Iron. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body, and he figures that he's going to try to move on him, so start doing it early on, and later on, he's going to have a guy in front of him. <laughs> Halfway through round number one. Let it go! and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Keep it up. Stay tight. Keep jabbing and hitting. Keep him in front of you, okay? You Don't let him move around too much. Cut the... You gotta land a big punch now. No doubt about it. If you're losing this fight, you need to throw and land a big shot. Knock this guy out. Keep your guard up, all right? You're not protecting yourself. Here we go. Round two is underway. up that gut. The 
last thing either guy wants to be here, Teddy, is one-dimensional. The last thing you want to be in anything to be successful is one-dimensional. I mean, if you're a comedian, you don't want to be saying the same jokes all the time. Your crowd's not going to be there. Well, your opponent is going to be there all night long if you do the same thing. He just missed that shot up top. You got this one. A solid true uppercut by Iron. Where's the body? And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. Good smooth work by Iron. That's Classic counter-punching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Comes right back with some offense of his own. <laughs> Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Decide to trade there. Uppercut. Final ten seconds of round number two. Very nice defensive guard there. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't, he's chomping at the bit. He's confident. Just move more. Just keep moving. You hit him really good in that round. A couple of times. Really good. Okay. And round number three is underway. Nice block by Iron. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Looking good. Jump on him. Nice. Solid straight right hand. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Fires right back at him. Well, this can become a bore, and he's making a decision to do it as he ties up again. Halfway through this round here. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Takes a 
step back, then the counter punch by Iron. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Iron's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Beat him to the punch. Punch punch it. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Oh, and a big right hand lands. And round three comes to an end. You don't use it enough. Jab, jab. You got any more of these? I'll do the one. Hold it. All right, breathe, deep breath, get some water. You're good. You're okay. Start of round number four, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. I don't want to criticize him too much, Teddy, because by going defensive here after being stunned, hey, this might be the right strategy to employ. As long as he doesn't stay with it too long. It's the right strategy to employ right now at this moment. But if you're gonna win the fight, you have to find a way quickly down the road to get back to where you can score points and survive and be responsible defensively. Makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. Double up on your punches. And now you can see him utilizing the jab. You know, a lot of times you see a guy on the outside bouncing around, staying away. You understand the use of a jab, but when you're Keep coming forward. You you have to come forward with a cover. And that jab, that's the cover. Keep moving! Keep moving! Nice! Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Iron's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Teddy, it is such a gift that he has right here. We're seeing such a technically sound defensive fighter. Yeah, we are. You know, the old time trainers would say, Teddy, he's doing the hard part. And that is the hard part, making the guy miss. Now he has to start doing the fun part. Hit him. Irons in bad shape. Shake it off. Shake it off. Wake up. He's in bad shape. He does not look good at all. He could go down at any moment, Teddy. Yeah, he wishes right now this was in an outdoor arena because maybe rain could come and stop it because I don't know what else could help him right now. Stay away from those. Iron's got a way of just getting away from that punch. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell 
that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I noticed is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rearview mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Iron's got to deal with now a cut eye. <laughs> Oh, you're doing great. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counterpunching opportunities. Hey, opportunities too, not on the go. front end, but on the back end. Not able to land the headshot. Still not moving enough. Oh, Jeez, wham up, okay. Dave. <laughs> He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. And now they're trading blows. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Halfway into round number five here. the mark that punch didn't have a chance i don't like this at all teddy i mean it's one thing to stand toe to toe it's another thing to never even move you got to show some movement maybe he's breaking down maybe he's already spit the bit you know if he falls down everybody in the world's gonna know that he let himself fall down he gave up but there's different ways different phases of hook to the body oh that got to him Keep working the jam. Good, good. Keep moving. Keep moving. Fuck. Final Fuck. ten seconds of this fifth round. Back to the body. Working and this is your fight. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Don't get lazy. You're winning this fight. He's almost done. You, you had him that round. You, you're in control. Next round. It's okay. It's okay. I need you to move this round, all right? Move. Muevate. He's going to come in swinging. He thinks you're still hurt, and he's going to look to finish you off. He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're going to find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Iron showing us that defense is also very much part of his game. Yeah, it is. Not only to avoid punches, but actually to even set up offense. You know, he'll make you miss, and then there's something coming back. He creates opportunities to hit you. 
He clinches when he gets to the inside. Tried the hook, didn't get it. Uppercut. Don't let him get to you. Not much action as he just ties up. And he clinches yet again. Okay, get your hands up. Fish yourself. Out of board. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Wow, stunned moments ago, but now somehow, some way, surviving well. You know, Joe, I had a fighter once that got dropped in a round, and he wasn't doing real good up to that point. After that, he fought better. He boxed better, he fought better defensively, and when the fight was over, I said, good job. You know, he whispered to me. He whispered, did I get knocked out? Yeah, he did. Oh, he didn't know what had happened. I realized then he was fighting on instinct the rest of the night. Amazing story. Iron's doing a brilliant job with his head movement. He's employing top-notch defense right here, and it's frustrating his opponent. It is frustrating his opponent. His opponent needs to make an adjustment of thinking right now and understand what's there, not what's not there. We know that the head's not there, but what's there? The body. He needs to start going downstairs. That will freeze up some of that head movement. So he takes a breather between rounds after he what just put forth more of the same punishment. Teddy, fight? we've been He's sitting here all night up. long this as he lands these stunning this blows. You can you just hear the damage up. landing. Yeah, and I can feel them. Some fluids that I don't really want are coming onto my shirt. Relax, relax, you're okay, you're okay. Keep your hands up. You can keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. It has been completely one-sided so far tonight, and he's in control as we start this round. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Oh, he just misses with that head shot. Good block. having a masterful round defensively. I love what we're seeing from the footwork with him. Very good movement, sound defensively. Is there anything he should be considering adding to that arsenal, though, right now? Well, he's got to find spots for offense. You know, he's making his opponent miss. He's getting him off bounds. He's frustrating him a little bit. You know, pop at the right time. You know, let it fly a little bit in the right spots. You keep your guy off balance. When you got him off balance, you make him miss, make him pay. See him holding on.
Ten seconds to go in the seventh. Oh, this is a wipeout. You're winning this fight. Just keep doing what you're doing, and you got this. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. So, he's tight. He's got nothing left, okay? Throw that away. You're letting this get away. Come on now, this is it. You gotta make it a fight now. Listen to me. Your best defense is to throw punches. You need them. Iron's in control of this fight with a commanding lead on your scorecard, Teddy, as we start round number eight. He just looks like the kind of guy that's not gonna be defeated tonight. No, he's made up his mind. And he didn't make his mind up, you know, and this is for the young fighters out there and whatever you aspire to do to move forward. He didn't make up his mind tonight. He was made up way before he got in the ring, and it's showing. He's getting the payoff. He's throwing a lot of punches here. Now his opponent is showing very, very good movement. What adjustments can he make to deal with that movement? Well, Joe, when you're fighting a guy who's smart, who's hard to hit, First of all, you gotta shorten those punches up. If they're wide, they have no chance at all. And you gotta go to the one place that's not moving. Guess where that is? Downstairs. Come on, keep focus. Iron's gotta deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it could get nasty as the fight progresses. Body shot, body shot. Oh, and there he lands the right hand well. One, two. One, two. Move your head. One, two jabs. uppercut you'll see All right, do that again uppercut oh you're doing great block block miss the body shot Exchange there. And he just holds on there. Nice work, nice work. He's all over the place. I mean, he's missing punches. Yeah, he's throwing punches, but he's missing just about everything he throws. Well, we look up top, you know, we look at the punches going away. They're going left, they're going right, they're going all over the place. But look downstairs. His feet are not set. He's falling all over the place. And guess what? The punches follow where his feet are. And round eight comes to an end. Iron's well conditioned to the realities of this harsh business of boxing. But even though we know what we've seen out of some ringside scorecards through the years, I'd be shocked if everybody doesn't have him ahead in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you never know with these blind judges sometimes. I hate to say it that bluntly, but time and time again, you just get shocked when you hear the score at the end of the night. So a new round is underway here, but will it be just where we left off? Remember, 
The bell rang in that last round to keep this fight going. He was taking a beating. Yeah, well, I hope that he watched some Houdini movies. I really do, because he's going to have to do a Houdini to get out of this. Blocking that punch. Very good defense by Iron. Get in there. Still not moving it up. Whoa, where about they? Not able to land the uppercut. Nice. Well, he's got to be careful here, Teddy, because I know he was stunned earlier, and he wants to tie up, he wants to clinch. But at that moment where you go to clinch, you're creating an opening. Yeah, you are. Your opponent can take advantage of that. He can take a little step back, make you fall in, and then bang, 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 put you in even worse shape. Engages in the clinch. That's what I like to see. Irons coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Targets his opponent after blocking a shot. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Let it go. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. Hard to see a way in which this fight changes. I mean, he's been outworked. That round just proved it again. He's been outworked consistently all night long. Well, look, you want to stay with the fundamentals. You don't want to get away from that. You want to use a jab. You want to bring your feet. You know, you want to get into certain ranges. But at this point, you have to find a way to land a big punch. You have to emphasize that to your fighter. It is desperation time. You have to go you have after. To take some risks. Let it all out. Let it all out. This is it. We don't have a lot of rounds left, okay? I know you got that power to knock him out. You got the strength. The action starts up again, but it's only favored one man. Hard to see this fight going the distance based on what we've witnessed so far. Unable to score with the hook. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Good job! Grabbing 
hang on to his opponent. Good work. Blocks the headshot. Nice. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Irons. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Strike after catching one by Iron. Back to the box. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Oh, get him up. <laughs> Left and right. Left and right. <laughs> Counting down towards the end of the tenth round. Ten seconds to go. And this round comes to an end. Just move around. You gotta move your hands in there. Let's go. That was good. There you go. You're doing great. You're doing fine. Really, really You're doing great. So just keep working on the inside. Come up with the uppercut. All right. It's beautiful. Come on. Take a deep breath. You earned it. You need to cover up more. So the start of the 11th round, Teddy, you have him down by just a slight margin, but just to look at him, to look at these two guys, you can tell he has less left in that gas tank. Yeah, and does he want to find it? Does he want to go to the reserve? Everyone, Joe, even you, has a reserve tank. Go find it. to dismiss that body shot. Uppercut. Uppercut. Well off the mark by Iron. <laughs> Able to dismiss it. That's it, just like that. Still not moving enough. Still not moving enough. Move, move, move. Move. Teddy, you saw that coming. You said he was waiting for that. Yeah, what he was doing was he was just pulling that shoulder back a little bit, trying to throw that right hand, pull that shoulder back, be a ghost a little bit, disappear on him, come back with the right hand. Keep working the body. Iron's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. 90 seconds to go in this 11th round. Nice work, nice work. Finish with a hook. That hook was well off the mark. Keep working the jab. Good, good. And he ties up on the inside. Stay down the body. Focus. Keep moving. Keep moving. Watch the hook. Work the body kick. Body and now just wasting everybody's time holding on. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. He's taking too many punches. Hands up. <laughs> Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. Okay. 
This round is in the books, and it looks like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading towards empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you got to figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit. Physically and mentally, the other guy is starting to impose himself on him. You understand me? Let's see some defense and more punches. It is the final round. Here they go. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. He missed with that headshot. Keep moving! Keep moving! A demolishing right hand. Oh! It was in his scope, and he pulled the trigger with that straight shot, scoring the knockdown. And he had a beautiful sight there. One, two, three, four, five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Halfway through this 12th and final round. There you go. Gets rid of that body shot. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Blocks that punch. Last dance, last chance. Last minute of the last round. Head and body, head and body. Jack, give him a word. That's what I want to see. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. He's tight. He's tight. And they will bring it home in the last 10 seconds of this final round. Final bell of what was a one-sided outing. Well, this one is easy to score. At least it should be. Let's hear how the judges had it. We send it up to the ring. So all three judges give him the victory. A very good night by Iron. I don't think it was ever a question of who. It was always going to be how. Knockout or decision. We get a good decision here. Yeah, a good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us.